Hey, what's up there, mama? How you doing? Okay, I'm cold hell. The rut is in, guys. Man. Super slick. It'll be dark by the time we get him back to that truck. Oh, drag him a few feet. And then stop. Drag him a few feet. And then stop. Okay. Get my workout in. Why do we do this? set up the blind on the edge of this cornfield and uh, as soon as I came up over the hill you know John and Kim they've been saying they've been seeing turkeys out here but I haven't ever seen a turkey out here as long as I've hunted out here then I come up over the hill and there's like I don't know it had to be at least at least 10 of them hens with jakes and they just scattered like cockroaches it was, pretty cool I've never seen them out here so that's kind of promising for what turkey season could bring um, but I'll give you a kind of look at my setup Upsets me a little bit, but 
I got footage of him before I shot him. Um, I'm just sitting here. He ran about 20 yards out and stopped to turn around at me. And uh, he just dropped. So I'm kind of just waiting a little bit. Not too bad. Well, it's cold out here. I'm gonna go get this buck. So. So that's good. You can see that's not far, it's probably about 50 yards from the blind right there. So, but it sucks I didn't get it on Tacticam footage. But uh, that'll do, that'll do for this evening. That was a nice hunt though. Nice to come out and sit in that blind in the corn. Pretty surreal. I looked over and there he was. So. But that's a wrap. Average American hunter. Sorry I couldn't get you a shot. But maybe we'll just toss in the tag cam footage for poops and giggles. It's part of the process. Dragging this up. Okay. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you all the way back to the truck. And I'm gonna eat you. Hey y'all, Ryan Odenbrett checking in with a little tip I wanted to share with you all about rattling. Oftentimes when I plan on rattling, be it on the ground or up in my climber, I will set up near a small branch with dead leaves, much like the one you see right now. As I rattle the antlers together, I bang them into the leaves as I try to replicate the on-ground tussle. I also push back and forth as I imagine each buck gains momentum over the other. Remember, deer don't tickle tines. They grind their antlers against one another with a neck 18 to 30 inches in diameter. So that's a lot of force. So during the rut, think more about grinding those antlers together rather than tickling the tines. I will rattle for a minute at a time, at most. But as I've learned the hard way, Get your weapon ready as soon as you hang up the antlers, because a lot of the bucks will trot right by you as they move forward looking for the combatants. Till next time, grind hard. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We release a new episode every Monday, and I promise we get better as the season advances. Visit our website at AverageAmericanHunter.com to read some of our blogs and send us an email if you want to buy one of our shirts. Also, take a listen at Kyle running the Average American Hunter podcast at iPodcast, Google Play, TuneIn, Stitcher, or Spotify. Until then, stay tuned and embrace the chase.